So now it's just a matter of deciding how I want to put some texture in this sweater. Just an idea of texture, and I can either do that by putting in a few lines Or I can just break up the paint here and there with a little bit of knife work, which I often like to do. It just gives the eye somewhere to rest a bit. And you know then that there's texture in the sweater. It doesn't say this is a certain kind of knit, but it just gives it a little bit of a texture. And I often need to go back in and refine with the brush a little bit. I can also create the illusion of texture when I get to an edge. Speaking of edges, I'll work this edge next to her sweater. her sweater against the background. And I've adjusted the value against the from the photograph here to really make this part of her arm somewhat disappear into the background so that it doesn't take away from him at all. We don't want to create a line going out of the picture that is too strong. Just back and forth working my paint. In areas like this where it's in between something, our eye tends to finish it a little bit, bringing the edges of the surrounding colors in. So I'm actually painting a darker color than I was over here. Just a little bit darker along here so that it continues to read as her shoulder.
just going to do a little bit more creating of slubs along here just to give the idea that the sweater's gotten a little more texture. And now a few more highlights on the various areas of the sweater where the folds are and it will be done and then I'll just work on the hair. So I've almost finished her hair except for a little tuft of hair that is coming out here and it wouldn't look like it would be necessary but I think it will draw the eye into his little face and I'll just take it a little at a time here. I'm using a dagger brush, a soft dagger brush, and just play with it and see how much I want to include, knowing that I can always go back and take it out if I want to. Gotta come from here to make it make sense and I'll I'll have some fiddling to do. And in order to be able to see the hairs against the dark, I'm going to be switching to a, a lighter brush, lighter color and a new brush. A little more linseed oil in it to keep the hairs nice and fine. I think that's enough to avoid it looking too kitschy. And then correct all this in here with my previous colors. Just going to add a few more wisps of hair. To these foreground hairs, even though in the photograph they are pretty blurry. You can really decide where you want the eye to go by changing how focused or blurry something is. So I finished the background and all I have left to do is the little shirt here and as you can see I've already signed it because I wanted to make sure that I could sign it and fix the hair while it was still wet if I needed to in case I needed a couple goes at my signature. Plus this painting has a, I've got an opportunity to get it delivered and it won't be dry, so I wanna give it as much chance to dry as possible. So meanwhile, 
I've had to really reserve my values for this little shirt. And it's actually got three different values in it. And I'm right now painting in pure white, but it's going to pick up a little bit from underneath. But it's obviously the lightest color I've got here. So in some cases, I'll try to leave as much of the white paint as possible. Just areas where I really want it to be light. And some other areas like here where I don't mind if it picks up underneath a bit. Everything is very soft with this little shirt as well. So now I'm just going to step back and see if there's anything else that needs changing. And other than that, I'll call this little fella done. So as I mentioned before, this painting was done with two colors, ivory black and titanium white. And I did a base coat in acrylic using Mars black. I could have used ivory, but Mars was the only one I had. Um, Mars black and titanium white and I also had a couple of neutral grays that I used for the background or for the base coat.